Hello there. It is I, literally unplayable. I am here today, now, in this precise moment in time, checking out Apico or Apico. We're gonna go with Apico. Um, I, you might have heard my cat say hi. Uh, so this game is apparently about bees, because I see bzz, 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 and I see the picture of a bee, and then the title of the game seems to be in these like hexagonal shapes. Um, I have no idea what this game's about. No idea. Um, I am fortunate enough to have been uh, selected. I have partnered up with the Indie Houses uh, to be able to check out a bunch of these uh, new and upcoming indie games. And Apico, Apico, Apico is uh, one of these new upcoming indie games. So along with other 40, other 39 uh, demos, I'm going to be checking all of them out and I'm going to be recording some footage recording some uh, gameplay, and making some quality content for you. So this is my playthrough, my first experience, my first thoughts and re first reaction to Apico. So let's, um, let's get started. Um, yeah, that's a um, new game. All right, cool. So we got uh, some character customization right off the bat. So let's go with, uh, let's go. Oh, you know what? I would do green hair, but I feel like that's going to get really confusing with the background. So let's do something that stands out a bit more. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess let's do blonde hair. What's my name? How dare you not know my name? I am Leet. Hey, stop. How dare you not know my name? My name is Leet Unle. And... What? Oh, that's the hairstyles. Ooh, a beard, eh? Okay, so there's there's a decent selection. Let's go with that boy. Oh yeah, and let's uh set sail. All right. So once again, I have no idea what this game is about. Um, we're kind of just gonna dive right into it and see what's about. Dear Lit on Play. It was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition. And there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Hmm, <laughs> doubt that. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from the busy city job of yours. I've, post I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. All right. Ho, ho. We made it, Lit on Play. And just as ya were getting ya sea legs, ho, ho. Here we are, Port Apico. And what a lo lovely day for a demo. Hey! It was jolly good to have ya aboard again, matey. Takes me back. You do ya still remember ya way around the place. I don't know what accent I'm supposed to be making, but I'm gonna stop trying. Ho ho, no problem. Have ya my map. I know this place like the back of me, me boat. Your dear old Nana is off exploring at the moment, but she should, she told me to give you your grandpa's journal. Should help you find your way around. If you need anything, just holla. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful now. Off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with ya. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho. Okay. Welcome to Apico. Click the camera. Claim reward. Welcome to Apico. A game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve you, serve as your guide through the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book at any time by pressing G or clicking on the icon in the bottom middle toolbar. You can close any books and all menus in the game by pressing escape. As you progress, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, have a freebie. Keep her safe and keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. Oh, it's just gotta be. All right, getting around. In Apico, you can move down, left, right with W S A D. Also, devs, if I am mispronouncing your game's name, I am so sorry. I think it's Apico. I I doubt it's a Pico, so we're gonna go with Apico. But if I am mispronouncing this, I am so sorry, and please correct me down in the comments or wherever you find this video. Please leave me a note. 
All right. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information and how you can use it. Useful, huh? You can interact with anything around you with the cursor. You can reach quite far with these cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds, just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits, take this axe. Let's go. All right. Resource management not unlocked yet. Oh, but I can go to gathering resources, right? When you left click something, you will use whatever item is in your is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with cursor. Select the fancy axe we just gave you using the hotkeys one through eight or pick it up with the cursor. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling with the wheel. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said, don't think about it. <laughs> Go and left click on some trees with the axe. You can hold down the left click to collect 10 logs and then come back here for a reward. You don't have the, okay, cool. So we'll, let's go get some logs. Oh, hey, look, okay. So right off the bat, it tells you that it's the demo for PC and it tells you your B, uh, BPS, your bits per second. All right, uh, let's see. Pure flooring, hold shift for information. Okay, so if I hover over something and I hold shift, it'll bring up more information. Can be picked can be picked back up with a hammer. Can be picked back up with a hammer. Hey, right, well, we don't have a hammer, we have an axe. Okay, so these Okay, so this is different. No, wait, no, it's not. Wait, I'm so confused. Why was it used to... This is not what this was saying. It said something about... Yeah, the pier. Okay, so maybe, maybe I want... Oh, I see. Ah, okay, 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 I see. Very nice. Okay, ote, ote, ote. All right, so let's get a B. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna take it, because we can. New recipe unlocked, check your workbench. Oh, these are not the same thing, okay. Oh, I can only carry four at a time, really? What are these sawdust bricks? All right, um, empty canister. We're gonna put the empty canister back and we're gonna take a, a hammer. Okay, uh, let's see. So if I go to the book, it said I unlocked the recipe, but I don't know how to take a look at said recipe. Okay, that's fine. Let's take out the, um, here, let me, let me put the bees back in here. Okay, so now we're gonna use the axe. Uh, and we're gonna chop some trees. Okay. One more. All right, cool. Now we have uh, we have what we need. So if I go back here, we can claim this. We have a workbench apparently. Resource management. As you start the de deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. Ah. Left click will pick up any item in a slot and move it to any other slot. Right click will pick up half of the stack or drop one item from a stack you have picked up. Wheel on an item to collect as many of them as you have in your inventory. Huh, okay. What about crafting? It's time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one, and come back here. Would you kindly? Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menus, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so we need 10 more. Uh, okay, so if I do E, we can see everything that we have. What's this? This is a crate? Okay. How do I... I don't know what this is supposed to do. Click to make this menu the target for shifting, for shift clicking items. Okay. So I can, okay, so we, we can definitely carry all the stuff. Because like, why wouldn't we want to do that, right? All right, cool. A frog. All right, what does the captain want? Well met. What can I do for you? Shop. Ah, you sell stuff. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. All right, let's uh, keep destroying trees, I guess. All right, so now I have enough for the the workbench. So let's open the book back up. Wait, no, I still need a get yourself. Oh, that's right. I need to put down the workbench. What am I doing? Uh, and yeah, we're trying to craft a saw bench. Nice. All right, so we can claim these back. Okay, and then next steps. That's all from this introduction, but don't worry. We're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds great, actually. Once you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. So make sure to keep an eye on here. Now go, little one. Be free. <laughs> what? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all just uh, dust. Go and take this with you. Okay. All right, so I guess I guess now the game's giving us a lot of freedom, so why don't we just go down the book and see what we find? So we're doing Carpentry 101. Now you have a saw bench. You can start cutting up your logs into other items. Place a log in the left input slot and then and you'll then see a little uh, thing handle up here, slider handle. Click and drag the handle with the cursor left and right to cut your logs into wooden planks. You can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks, which are used for crafting tools and throwing at birds trying to steal your stuff. Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your tools and won't have to chop wood by hand unless that's your sort of thing. No judgment here. Okay. Uh, so we need wood sticks and 10 planks. Okay, so that, that should be doable. Uh, so let's take this and we'll put it right next to the workbench. And we'll put a log here. And we're gonna saw it. Oh, I see, I see, okay. We need to make 10 of these, right? Well, actually, we might need to make more because we also need to make sticks. Oh, this is a tedious process for sure. <laughs> They did say that I might be able to turn this into automatic. That would certainly be nice. Oh, wait. Seems like we can't claim our reward already. No, we still need sticks. Um, oh, but I can claim this. Okay, so let's see. Menu magic. As you might have realized by now, there's a lot of menus in this game. If you're unsure what a menu is or what you can do with it, just press the question mark button for some handy hints. You can move any open menus by dragging the top menu bar. Menus will stay open until you close them or get too far away from them. They just miss you so much. <laughs> Alright, so we claim some. Seems like we might have more stuff to claim. At this point, you're probably sick of clicking things one by one. If only there was a quicker way to move stuff around. Luckily for you, there is. When any two menus are open, you can use shift while clicking with the left trigger to move that stack to the other menu. Oh. 
If you have more than two menus open, you can use the circle button to set that menu as a target. All shift clicked items will be yeeted over to the target menu. <laughs> you can also press Q while hovering over any menu to set it as a target. Now you're cooking. All right. Keeping organized. You've already amassed quite a horde of stuff, huh? You're you're like a smug dragon lounging on a mountain of bees and wood. At this point, though, it's probably getting hard to keep on top of said mountain. But oh boy, do we have a solution for you. Luckily, your inventory in any crate item has a built-in auto sort. Nice uh, functionality. Simply click the down button to the left of the menu and all contents will be sorted alphabetically. You can also click with the wheel on any empty slot. Ah, now that now doesn't that feel better? Honestly, yeah, that's amazing. Are you enjoying the peaceful world of Apico? Want to show off your amazing apiaries to the world? You can turn on photo mode at any time by pressing P. Photo mode will hide all the menus and buttons so that you can get your yourself cool screenshots. We'd love to see the beautiful things you've created. You can share them with us on Twitter by mentioning us directly at Apico Game or using the hashtag Apico. You can also show off your bees in the Apico forums. We'd love to see you there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty cool. The game has a built-in photo mode, and I like how it... Uh, we'll, we'll test it out, but apparently when you go into photo mode, it automatically hides everything, and I think that's pretty cool. Waiting around. At the beginning, you might find there's not much you can do during the night or while it's raining if you haven't got any bees that are active during those times. The bench item lets you take a nap. While you're dreaming of bees, time in the game will speed up. This makes day pass quicker, which affects trees and saplings you've planted, as well as helps weather and quicker. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be realistic. <laughs> nice. All right, that's pretty cool. So, wow, this game this game does have a lot of things going on for itself. Um, and I don't hate it. It's actually kind of cool. All right, cool. So now... We can go back to Carpentry 101. We can claim our things. Uh, basic tools. Let's see. To collect certain resources, you need the right tools for the job. You can't just go around punching trees. Axes let you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxes let you mine stone from rocks. Spades let you dig up placed seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up placed crafting items, beehives, and tiles. If you make yourself one of each... I'll give you a bunch of rocks. Don't ever say I didn't give you anything nice. Okay. So I have an axe and I do have a hammer as well. I need to make a wooden pickaxe. And I'm not actually sure how to make this. Um, okay. Let's see. What about get building? You know you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I think it's time to get you a building, uh, building your own place. You can craft flooring and walls at a workbench, which you can use to build your own houses. Place tiles and walls with automatic the placed tiles and walls will automatically snap to the grid, and you can hold down left trigger to place multiple at once. If you make a mistake, you can use a hammer to pick it up to pick it back up again. Okay, uh, all right. So let's let's see about these tools. How do we make tools? Uh. Pickaxe. Okay, so for the pickaxe, we need what? 10 sticks? I don't have 10 sticks, really? Oh, because I gotta put them back in my inventory, that's one. Let's put these here. Put these here. I'm gonna automatically sort things out. Okay, cool. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so now, am I holding something? Why does it look like I'm holding something? No, okay. All right, so now we can craft one of these. Um, and what's the other item that we need to craft? So we need a spade, a wooden spade. And that one, we need 10 sticks, okay. So we're going to craft sticks, we go here, we open up our menu, we grab these bad boys, and we make sticks. And 
And now we have enough uh, to make a spade. And we can keep going. <laughs> Alright, so now for buildings. Okay, so we need wood walls and wood flooring. And the great question is, how do we build those? Also, I like these. So these are better items. And... But you need stones to, to craft them. Okay. So you need to go make more sticks. Because this is a stone axe, a stone pickaxe, a stone hammer, and a stone spade. Okay, so workbench, you already have one. Small crate, large crate, a bench, trash can, rain tank, a barrel, an infuser. What's an infuser? Used to infuse wooden materials with resin to treat them. Okay. What is this? A tree tree tap. Single use tree tap used to extract resin from a tree. Okay. This is a predicator used to predict the potential offspring of a queen. Oh. Well, goddamn. All right, wood flooring, perfect. So this is what we need. So in order to make that, we need planks. And do I not? Aren't these planks? Oh, no, that, those are sawdust bricks. Um, used in crafting, it can be chopped into sticks. Okay, so what I need... Oh, boy, all right. Um... We don't seem to have... Wait, what happened to the ones I had? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I need to turn those into... No, I have enough. Okay, so let's do some floor. Alright, how much do I actually need? Okay, I have enough. And now I need to do 16 wooden walls. Perfect. Alright. What's next? Paint the town. So you've built yourself a cute little... No, I have not built myself a cute little house yet. All right, so why don't we do that first? <laughs> let's uh, let's make a house. And then we can... um, Then we can go and read that thing. All right, so let's let's find a spot to make a house. How about, how about we just make it here? This little corner. Or should we go further into the woods? And maybe deforest a little bit and make a house right here. Let's see. I see a beehive. The queen has finished her cycle. Okay, so let's see. Let's learn about beekeeping. Let's get you to where you're really. Let's get to why you're really here. Bees. To get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in different areas. Try having a look around for bees flying around. Eventually, they'll head back to their hive. To start, you'll need a plain old common bee. A bee from the forest and a bee from the shores. Once you find a hive, you can open it up with the cursor to have a look inside and take any of the bees with you. You can pick up a hive with a hammer gently. Okay, so I have all these bees. Let's see, what is this? A common bee, a forest bee, and a verge bee. Have you taken the time to stop and smell the flowers? Your bees certainly will. You can pick up flowers with the cursor and place them near your hive so your bees, for your bees to visit. The flowers visited by bees will slowly spread and grow. Later on, when you have an extractor, you'll be able to get flower seeds from your hives based on the flowers they visited. You'll even be able to discover the new hybrid flowers that can have direct effects on nearby bees, such as increasing their productivity or allowing them to stay up at night. Oh my god, okay. Now for beekeeping. Now you have some bees and a beehive. You can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two drones in the left-hand input slots of a hive to create a queen. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offsprings. All drones produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's... Well, let's, uh, let's take this stuff, right? What are these? Uh, these are forest bees. Quick... 
queen button. Hold shift for info. Click to move two offsprings automatically into the input slots. Is this a queen? It is, okay. So she's gonna make honeycombs, okay. Um out okay, that's her outputs only. What are these? And he's the same. Come and be. Alright, we'll leave we'll leave those for for there now. Um alright, let's take out our axe and let's uh, start deforesting. New recipes of the month. Alright, so this this is this is certainly not the type of games that I like usually play in my free time. But this is kind of fun. <laughs> I, I, I won't lie. <laughs> so uh good job dubs. <laughs> you guys are you guys are actually This is cool. Like I like how much there is to do with this game. Like there is quite a bit that you can do here. All right, cool. So we we made some space. We're gonna make our little house. Uh, all right. So I suppose we start with the flooring, right? All right. So okay, we can we can add another. Cool. So now now we have um that. So I'm so I suppose we now need walls. Uh, no, I don't have enough. Well, that's good, because, you know, I kind of... I need a door, right? <laughs> okay, so this is going to be kind of like our base of operations for the time being. Um, let's go back to the workbench. Uh, I also want to take these down. These are in my way. Let's go back to the workbench and see what we... New recipes we just discovered. Uh, it's for painting. Okay, this is the bee stuff. Basic apiary. Used to breed bees and fill frames. Bees and apiaries can be crossbred. Okay. We need more uh, honeycombs. Okay, so we'll save for that. Rehabilitator. Used to release bees back into the wild. Predicator. Used to predict the potential offspring of a queen. Frame hold shift uh, used in apiaries to store bees product. Uh, uncapping bench used to uncap filled frames for use in extractor. Extractor used to extract bee produce from uncapped frames. Oh my gosh, there's there's a lot to be done here. Put edging, stone flooring, stone panel flooring, stone edging, pure flooring. All right, so this is definitely one of those games where you can, like, lose yourself in. There is quite a bit to do. And I think I would go... I would, like, disappear. If I took this game, like, super seriously and, like, really... Oh, it's nighttime. Um, if I, like, took it super seriously and I started, like, um, like, really getting into it, I can definitely see myself, like, throwing hours into this game. This is the bench, right? So we're going to put the... Can I... Put the bench there? Okay. So this makes time go slightly faster. Hold shift for info. Click to save your progress. Feedback. Okay. Alright, so th this is definitely cool. I mean, there's so much. I could spend probably like six hours playing. I mean, I don't know if there's an end to the demo. Um, I'm assuming there is, right? Like, at some point, the demo has to end. I don't think they, they just... The demo is like the free game either. Um, and I wonder where the end is, but I also don't want to, you know, spend, like, a lot of time trying to s find out where the demo ends. Uh, but there's certainly quite a bit to do, like, you see this map? Like, there's definitely a lot I haven't explored. Um, 
let's see. What else? What else can we do? Paint the tent. Okay, so we can paint the place. Uh, but I think we need to go craft a brush. Yeah, but we'll we'll explore a little bit more. I'm not gonna call it call it just yet. Let's see, so I thought I saw a brush. Okay, I need sticks. Paint the town. So you've built yourself a cute little house or decided to embrace that <laughs> hashtag force hermit life. No judgment here. Now, wouldn't it just be sweet as honey if you could paint that little house or color code your storage? Well, good news. You can craft dyes using flowers and, blue and glue and use a paintbrush to paint any tile, wall, or object any color you'd like. If you decide you want to change a change of scenery, you can use craft you can use craft a scrapper to remove. You can just use a craft. You can just craft a scrapper to remove it. I don't understand why that use is there. Okay, but we can now paint. Like clockwork, not unlocked. Yet. I wonder if the demo ends once you complete these things. Alright, tapping trees. Okay, let's uh we can build a tap. What's brown and sticky? Well, okay, yeah, I guess so, but I was thinking more about tree resin. <laughs> Collecting resin from trees will let you treat your wood to make it more versatile and last longer for beekeeping purposes. You To get resin from a tree, you need to craft a tree tab. You can use a tree tab by equipping it and clicking on a tree with the cursor. This will tap the tree and start automatically gathering resin for you to... For, for you that you can drain into canisters. Once a tree is empty of resin, you won't be able to tap it again. All good things must come to an end. Okay, so let's craft a uh, tap. I need sticks. Alright, so let's make some sticks. Alright, so we have a tree tapper. It rains at force. Don't you just love the rain? No? Oh. Well, bad news about this chapter, I'm afraid. <laughs> As you might have realized, not all bees like the ring, but some bees love it. It's also a really useful source of water. It only If only we had a way to collect it, though. Oh, wait, we do. You can <laughs> craft rain tanks to collect and store rain water. Later on, when you're all stocked up on honey, you can combine, you can combine the two and make some delicious meat. Ah. All right, so we're going to go craft the rain tank. Which is this one. Look at that. We happen to have enough. Okay. Keep it flowing. Now you've been... Now you've been tapping these trees. You probably want to start collecting the rest in some way. You can craft canisters using waterproof, which you can make from lily pads. Which you can make from... Li oh, those are lily pads. I thought those were frogs. <laughs> which you can make from lily pads that grow in the shallows. Canisters are portable, but only hold a small amount of liquids. Barrels can't be moved, but can hold much larger quantities. Be careful with your hammers, though. A broken barrel will spill your precious fluids everywhere. Okay. Alright, so craft the barrel. Okay. Oh, do we... Okay, we need more... Um... This item is item. out of reach. All right, hold it. So we're gonna we're gonna go collect some lily pads because we need water. For, and what is it? Walk near this item to pick it up. I'm I'm near it. How come I can't pick it up? I'm not picking up the water for what the hell? Like, how much nearer from it do you want me to... What uh, the hell? Um, here, let me, let me go put this in a... On a tree. Cool, so you're gonna continue sapping. 
Oh, maybe I wonder if it's because I don't I don't have space. Shrub of sapling, waterproof. All right, let's um. It'd be nice to have a way to sprint. But here, let me, I'm going to put this, not the barrel. We're going to put the large crate here. Uh, can you not pick up things after you've placed them down? I mean, I guess I could. No, it, it's actually not letting. Oh, I probably, I probably need to use the hammer to pick it up. Yeah. No, wait, what? I didn't let it go there. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Alright, I want to put this. Why did you drop it down there? Dak Namek. No, come back to me. Okay. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Like, why? Why must you be like this? Okay, um, let's put, what is this? This is a stone hammer. Okay, we'll put the stone hammer away for now. Uh, we'll store some beehive here. What? What is this? Bee pollen. Yeah, we'll store that. We'll keep this. Uh, I don't need to paint the house anytime soon. We seem to have at least one canister. That's good. The barrel, we will leave it here. Sawdust, we don't need. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that does. I do know what stones do, but I don't need it at the moment. I don't need this. Or this. Uh, okay, so we need waterproofing. That's like the main thing we need, right? Uh, what is this? Honey dye. This is honey roast seeds. Um, do I need to carry these things around? These are just the books, right, that I can access from down here. There's this fly that's been, like, just roaming around and it's, like, getting on my nerves. Alright, cool. So, now we have space, which is nice. So, let me, let me see if I can go, um... Really? All right, let me see if we can go and pick up the lily pads. But also, we need to store some bees. Is this the queen? No, this is a common bee. Uh, let's see, there was an option to uh, automatically place the... I don't see it. Verge Queen, okay. Well, I will leave you to it, uh, Queen. Okay, so what did that give me? Okay, so that's not what we need. But I guess that's good that we got some stuff. What is that, a lily pad? Okay. So what do I... Okay, um, we did get a new recipe, so let's, let's go check what that is. Ah, perfect. We can make waterproof. Okay, so that's how we make waterproofing. Okay, and what? I needed to craft something with the waterproofing, didn't I? Need to make a barrel. And okay, so now what I need is planks. Did I did I get rid of the planks? Really? I thought I kept them with me. But I guess not. Wait, where are the planks? Because that's saw brick. Oh, maybe I... Do I really not have any planks? I thought I definitely had some left over. Maybe I left them here? 
Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, cool. Cold infusion. At this point, you're probably up to your ears in resin, so it's time to put it all to good use. Okay, no, we're not. So before we do that, let's actually go and do something with the, the resin. So we have a couple of canisters. We have a tree that's uh, giving sap. The tree has been fully drained? Really? And do I not get the freaking... I guess not, so that would mean that I need to go craft a new one. Okay, let's put the barrel down here. And let's uh, pour this in. And while that's happening, let's uh, craft another one of these. All right, and let's uh, plug a couple more trees. All right, then let's go back here. So now that the canisters are empty, Okay, so I see. I, I see how we farm for sap. It's definitely a process that's going to take quite a bit of time. Um, okay, at this point, you're probably up to your ears in resin, so it's time to put it to all to good use. By training your wood, with, with treating your wood with resin, you can make it stronger and more versatile, meaning you can move, make more improved items. To get started, you'll need to craft yourself an infuser, which uses resin to treat planks and sticks. Think of it like when you take a nice sticky bath, what you mean you don't do that. <laughs> uh, so we need treated wood planks and treated wood sticks. Okay, but we also need an infuser. Right, that's what he said? Uh, yeah, an infuser, okay. Uh, this is all beehive stuff, so maybe not there. There we go, an infuser. What do we need for this? I need one more waterproofing. Okay, so I need to go collect lily pads. Okay, so now with these lily pads, I should be able to craft this. I can craft an infuser. Okay, cool, cool. And we're gonna place that infuser probably right around here. All right, and then I need to put in blanks at resin to start infusing items, okay? So for that, I'm going to need a canister. I wonder how much I need. Oh, okay, we need to fill up that tank. We definitely don't have it. Okay, I see. Alright, so while these... Alright, alright. I, I get it, I get it. I see, I see what's happening. I'm picking up what the game's putting there. But we need... Okay, we need to go chop up more wood. <laughs> alright, we're gonna... We're gonna finish this out, and then I think that's where we're gonna end for... For this because like I said I mean I could I could keep on going for forever with this the, this game definitely has a lot to do um, there seems to be somewhat of a story it seems like you're here on like a vacation from like your city job according to what the game told us at the beginning and I'm guessing at some point we're gonna meet Nana um, but there's not really like like a purpose to what we're doing right like we're just doing this almost because the game is telling us to i'm sure there's like a reason but i wouldn't expect you know like a a full story out of this game um but the gameplay i think the gameplay is really really cool so far all right uh so then let's go here we need a bunch of planks <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We're gonna make a couple. Of, we're gonna make some planks because then we need to make some sticks. So we can go uh, sap more trees. Honestly, this is kind of fun. This is almost like a tycoon uh, idol game, but minus the idol part. And if I had all the time in the world and I didn't have anything else to do in life, I would probably sit here and play this for a little bit. But unfortunately, I have plenty to do in life between work and just like uh, other extracurricular. I can't, I can't even call it extracurricular anymore because I'm not in school. <laughs> uh, but just between life and other uh, organizations and activities I'm involved in. Um, I also have another 37 demos to go try out, so I've already spent almost like an hour on this one. So I think I think for the sake of my time and the sake of what I'm trying to do, I should uh, move along. Also, we need sticks, right? Right, right, right. But hey, this game, honestly, the gameplay wise, gameplay wise. It's pretty freaking neat. Um, I don't know if you could call it a simulator, but I, I guess, right, like you're doing basically the things that, how you would do them in real life. Um, I don't know if you could call it a simulator, but it's definitely a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna go tap seven trees. The one thing I need to find out is if I can get the the spigots back. All right, so we have plenty of trees ready to be sapped. All right, why don't we go sit down? We're going to accelerate the process by sitting on our bench. Should also craft the bench and have it closer. All right, but let's sit here for a little bit. Let me check my phone, make sure I haven't missed any important messages. So I announced earlier on uh, social media that I'm partnering up with indie houses and basically all that I'm doing. And I've gotten a lot of positive response. Like a lot of people have been liking it, retweeting it. Um, I've gotten one comment so far, uh, someone who's actually like pretty excited. So there's definitely definitely a lot of cool things going on. Oh man, and I still have so many of these games to go check out. All right, uh, let's go check on on these things. It's been a it's been a hot minute, right? Let's wait till five. All right, cool. Let's see what we can see. Oh, look at that! When it's morning, you can see like uh. The rays of light, I guess, like passing through the clouds. That's cool. Alright, but these... I mean, they did move along, but I don't think... Time actually, like, really went by for them. So there's a hive in the water. The queen has finished her cycle. Alright, where was the option to do this process there was a thing that would let me do this automatically and I can't find it now verge B verge okay so all of these are verge all right so this is verge okay cool we're gonna let those sit there you know, for someone, I was so scared of bees when I was a kid. Like, they terrified me. Um, to the fact that I'm playing a, a game about bees is actually kind of fun. Alright, so we're gonna... We're gonna 
foot. What do we need again here? Planks? Um, I mean, yeah, the resin. Oh, wait, is it actually going to treat them? Oh, it did. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so th this game definitely has, like, a process of, like, there's a lot of things going on with it. And I, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, it's just, you gotta keep in mind everything that's going on. Um, how many do we need? We need 10 and 10, okay. So let those finish out. Um... These trees are still going. Now, so now that these trees are done, do is there no way for me to get the the spigot back? Do I just have to cut the tree down? It's kind of unfortunate. I wish I could get the spigot back. Alright, so let this finish up. We'll do the stakes, and I think I think that's where we're gonna call it. I think we an hour into this game is plenty. We experienced um, the mechanics of the bees. We messed around with um, with plenty of the crafting. All right, so let's throw this here. I'll take this back. I'll take. Oh, we need more sticks. All right, cool, and that should that should give us enough. Now let's see for these guys. They're still going. Yeah, well, we'll let it fully finish, right? But yeah, the like I was saying, the the mechanics to this and like just all that you can do in the game is actually a lot of fun. Um, the level of sandboxiness that the game has with like. I mean, I could freaking tear down the whole forest, um, sap everything, uh, just like line the whole place up with bees. Like there's a lot that you can do. And I'm sure the more time you spend in the game, the better acquainted you get with the mechanics. Um, and the more you can do. So like you could make a bigger house. You could uh, have you could have this like massive production, right? Um, you could have a whole area where you just used to sap trees. And then you collect it all in a barrel. Um, and then you bring it over to the infuser or the sawmill. And like, this is all being done manually at the moment. Right? Like, I have to personally uh, go in and manually execute all these processes. But the game did mention that you could make it automatic. Uh, so imagine automating this whole process and just like having like a, a freaking industrial revolution of of things that that must be cool um all right so let's let's go check the book out so we did this getting an upgrade now we've tested well, now we've treated our wood we can treat ourselves with treated wood you can craft upgrades for most of your machines and more importantly your apiaries advanced apiaries these give you more space for frames meaning you can increase your production for that specific height swarmers the sac the sacrifice production to instead increase the amount of offspring that a queen produces. Using a swarmer means you have more chance for hybrid offsprings, meaning more chance for new species of mutation. So an advanced apiary and a swarmer. All right. And what do we need for this? When we need okay, we need more honey, of which we don't have enough. What happened? I thought we had more. Um, all right, so let's uh, collect these. Yep, 
Yeah, it, I, it must be so cool to have this whole process automated. Like, so freaking cool. Uh, all right, so let's close. There we go. Um, I just need to make sure I save my <laughs> my progress, and then I could always just like come back for it if I really felt like doing that at a later time. Um, let's see. So I I have two beehives. Let's go see if we can collect enough um enough of these. We have some here, not that much. Oh, perfect. I see. Okay, so that should be working on its own. We do have another beehive. I should have set that up. Oh, look, and we do... Okay, so we do have enough of those. Um, let me set this beehive up right here. Actually, let's set it up here where there's some flowers. All right, and then let's go in here. So we need to bring bees in here. Man, I could definitely just, like, get a freaking um, sucked into this game. Because <laughs> it's so it's so simple and it's fun. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see myself, like, spending lots of time here. All right, but let's see. We can definitely craft one of these. Uh... All right, we can set that one up here. We need we need bees for that though. Right, so let's put two bees in here. We'll let them do their thing. And then the other thing we need to craft to be done with that section is this. But I don't have nearly enough um, honey. And we also need treated wood. Oh my gosh, yeah, that, that's going to take forever. All right, so I think I think this is a good stopping point. I think we've done plenty. We've explored the basic mechanics of the game. I think this is good for a demo. Um, I would be curious to see how far the demo goes, and I guess I could always find that out on my own time. But I think for now, this is a, this is a great stopping point. So I'm going to hit save, and that'll, that'll do it for now. Uh, if I click save and quit, where does it take us? Does it? Yep, okay. Yeah, it does, uh, <laughs> it does take me out of the game. All right, so here, give me one second. Let me load back into the game. I kind of wanted to say goodbye and everything while on the screen with the game, but the game just like disappeared. There we go. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're back at the at this screen. Um, but yeah, this this little game was actually a lot of fun, um, and I do see my stuff in there. So I guess the game does save to some extent because uh, I see the house off to off to the left here. I see the advanced apiary, the beehive I just placed. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been like an hour. Uh, I think we thoroughly explored Apico. Uh, I actually really liked it. I thought it was pretty cute. It was uh, very simple, very relaxing. It's been so long since I play a game that's not like difficult or demanding. Um, and I would even say this can be kind of like mind numbing. Like we could just like sit back, throw some music and like go at it. Um, I think this is a great game for people that like sandbox games uh, where you get to basically do whatever you want. Um, if you're into idle games, tycoon games, um, where you have very little resources and you may use those resources to turn them into more resources and then you use uh, those resources to craft better resources and so on and so forth. I think this game is definitely for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in for however long this video ends up being. Uh, this has been Apico by uh, White White something games. Uh, White Thorn games, I think it is. One second, I can I can actually tell you the name of the of the developers. Yeah, White Thorn games. Perfect. Hey, I wasn't wrong. Uh, yeah, this has been awesome. Uh, so thank you so much for the opportunity uh, that Indie Houses has given me to play this game. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this playthrough. I hope that this has helped inform you um, and hopefully 
given you the information you need in order to make an accurate decision on whether you, this is a game that you'd like to play or not. Um, but if not, I hope that at the very least you've enjoyed my commentary and just getting to hang out with me. So thank you so much for joining. As always, stay safe, but remember, no game is ever safe. Mm -hmm.